Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am outside. It's a really beautiful day and I was out doing some pictures for Half Lucid Jewelry and I already did my makeup and I'm already wearing a crown and a cool cloak. So I thought, why not just film my YouTube video out here in a super unofficial sort of way because I'm not using my normal setup. I'm holding the camera with my actual human arms. So it's gonna be a little bit of a different experience, but um, I just wanted to, I've been thinking a lot about this and I wanted to just make a quick video um, about something that has been on my mind a lot lately during this whole coronavirus thing. Um, so if you're new to my channel, <laughs> I used to make a lot of videos about having allergies and like the sci-fi and speculative fiction stuff that I love and also about jewelry. Uh, I am the author of the Alien Popstar series as well as some other books. I am the owner of Half Lucid Jewelry. I make crowns like this, one that I'm wearing. And uh, I was dubbed an allergy sufferer officially by ABC News once upon a time in a different time. Um, lately, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I, I, you know, if you if you're new here though, there's a lot of other fun stuff from before Corona, and I hope there'll be a lot of fun stuff after Corona. I have a lot of plans. Um, I got some movies I want to do videos about, and you know, going back to some of my regularly scheduled programming, I guess. But for now. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a mix right now, just like everything else. So anyway, I just, I, I've been thinking a lot lately about, you know, before all this happened, you would hear from a lot of people like, you're going to regret that you spent your money on this trip or this concert. Or like, do you really have to see that band again? Like, that's such a waste of money. Or I don't know if sports people get that too. I just assume that they don't, but maybe they do. Maybe people are like, do you really have to go see that baseball game again? Like, you've seen baseball before. I don't know if that's how baseball works. But, you know, you used to hear that a lot. And I think that was kind of the like overwhelming thought. And also that people that spend money on like getting a Starbucks or whatever are really stupid. And I think the biggest thing that I've learned through this is I, the biggest things I don't regret in my life are spending money on travel and going to concerts. Those are the things that I miss the most. And when it all like shook down with coronavirus, the thing that I look back at and I'm like, I'm so thankful I did this was trips that I've taken, like the trip I took to England years ago and the times that I've traveled to visit friends, the times that I've like traveled for conventions, the times that I've traveled for concerts especially, and like every concert that I ever went to where I slept outside on a sidewalk the night before so I could be in line to see Muse or like, you know, the extremely freezing cold temperatures I've survived several times for Muse or or whatever, like the friends I've made while I've waited in line for like 10 hours to see a band being packed into a tiny room with sweaty people like I was for Franz Ferdinand, you know, those are the things that I actually look back on the most fondly in my life as being the things that meant the most, not the things that I regret the most. Um, and I think it's interesting that we kind of all thought like, oh, you're going to regret not having, I don't know, a savings or whatever. But what good is a savings? It really, I feel like in a lot of ways, those of us who cherished our freedom of movement and the experiences that we had, I feel like in a lot of ways, we have a lot to be thankful for and to look back on fondly, rather than the people who sort of prioritized work, 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 saving money. Because while it's great to have money right now, obviously for, you know, groceries and stuff like that, uh, there's not much else you can do with your money right now, you know? Um, and what is it that people are missing the most right now but travel, their friends, spending time with people they love, going out to eat, going to concerts, you know, stuff like that. So I think it's interesting that the things that we were always kind of looked down on for prioritizing are the very things that everyone misses the most now. And that's very much including the arts. The arts have shown to be the most important thing through this. You know, what have we been told to do? Stay home and watch Netflix. You know, what have these musicians done, but done like shows for you to watch at home? You know, we've been told stock up on books, read books. These are all arts. These are arts created by artists, created by the people who are told like their, their jobs would never amount to anything in the end. 
Um, and I think it's interesting that those are the people we're turning to for comfort right now. And I know I am. And as an artist, I know people have like enjoyed my art at this time too. And I don't know, I think it's just musings that I'm having right now, but I think we all need to really appreciate the artists in our lives, tell them thank you for what they've done and for the years that they were ridiculed for not having like a real job. Because right now with those real jobs shut down, it's the entertainment people, it's the artists that are expected to keep everybody going through this and keep working from home and make things that people can consume while they're at home, you know? Um, so please take care of your artists. Please tip your artists. Please send your artist friends some surprise gift or even just like, you know, a funny meme you saw or something that makes you think of them or a thank you note. It would mean a lot right now. And I think also when this all shakes down later, I think we need to go back to appreciating experiences and be so grateful for travel that we get to do and spending time with the people we love and hopping on a plane to go see your best friend. I think right now is proving to be one of the most important human experiences that we can have if we're lucky enough to have the money to do it. Or go to a concert with your friends, big or small, and you know, you're arm in arm, you're sweating, you're singing, you're crying maybe. Those are experiences that I think a lot of people look down on before, but through all of this, those are the experiences that I am the most thankful I had. And they're the experiences that I look back on the most fondly. So it wasn't hours of work. It wasn't, you know, um, grinding away, doing things to try and fit into the, the cog of who I was supposed to be, you know, and whatever. Um, so yeah, those are some random musings. I know this is very disjointed and weird, but that's part of why I decided to just do it outside because why not? There are no rules anymore. Um, it, it, like I said, if you're new here, feel free to check out some of the other videos. Um, you should subscribe, why not? Support an artist, subscribe. Tell YouTube you wanna see more content from me. And honestly, if I get a few more subscribers, I'll probably be more likely to make another video in the next few days. I've been wanting to re-watch this really terrible movie from the 80s that starred Sting. It's called The Bride. I wanna re-watch that again. It's such a ridiculous movie. A lot of people have never seen it or even heard of it. So I wanna re-watch that and do like a, a funny video about that. Uh, there's a, f a few other like speculative fiction movies that I want to rewatch and do stuff about. I want to make some more Doctor Who videos because I've been thinking about that. Um, and yeah, I, I have a lot of plans for stuff. Uh, I still need to make my Big Dune video. That's going to be an event. That's not going to be just like a little thing. That's going to be like an event like 15 years in the making. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm going to try and upload this pretty much right away. So it should be up way before my birthday, but my birthday's May 16th. And uh, feel free to send birthday love if you want. I would really appreciate it right now. I love birthdays. Like I am the biggest lover of birthday parties. So it's gonna be sad this year to not have like a regular birthday party like normal. But you know, as we found during coronavirus, the most important thing is our loved ones and getting to see them and getting to do things with them and hug them. So, <sighs> I hope we all have learned a big lesson through this about who was there for us during the hard times and you know what we missed the most about the old world which was really actually very like soft and innocent and sweet and wholesome things like hugging our friends and going to see a band we love and having a Starbucks coffee every now and then and not feeling guilty about it because some boomer told us that we should have bought a house instead. So anyway, these are my thoughts. Thank you for watching. Um, and I, uh, yeah, I, I hope I'll have a new one out maybe even before my birthday. And we can have two videos before my birthday. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, if you're interested in buying Half Lucid Crown, by the way, this one is going up for sale. Um, so go check out my Instagram. I'm gonna link my Instagram in the description below so you can go and, you know, shop for some beautiful crowns during your quarantine. And uh, hopefully, we'll all be smart and safe and take good care of each other through this and on the other side I really hope we're going to be more compassionate and understanding and create a lot more beautiful art you know so take good care of yourself I'll see you guys in the next video